I don't know the names of any of the plants. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be filming a garden tour. So today's the 3rd of May and I just thought we'd film how everything's looking right now and then we can see how it progresses over the summer. Okay, so this is a quick overview and I think I'm gonna start in this corner uh, and work my way around because I'm not really growing anything to eat in this corner. Okay, so obviously we have a hose that I haven't mounted up, sorry. <laughs> um, this is some kind of plant that my boyfriend brought home in a recycling bin. We don't know what plant it is either. So this is a flamingo tree, which we bought because we saw it in someone's garden and we asked them what kind of tree it was. Um, we really, really love it. And down here are some pansies. Yeah. So this is the seating area. We have some antibac gel, very important. And some fleece that I've just taken off my beds, but I put back on at night. Then over here, these beds are all pretty disorganized, some kind of roses. I feel like one of these was a kumquat tree, I'm not really sure. Um, I've just planted a little baby raspberry bush, so hopefully that will eventually give us some raspberries. And then my favorite thing in this corner is the fig tree. We get so many figs off this every year, it's like really great. Um, this we've just cleared. I don't know what we're gonna do there. Something else. I don't know the names of any of the plants, but I really like this plant too. <laughs> the shed. Um, this is the junk corner, which is actually looking much better than it used to. And um, my compost. This looks a bit gross right now. There's like banana skins <laughs> and all sorts on the top. Um, so now we get to the first, I don't know, this is what a rose. More plants, don't know. Now we get to the food plants, which I do know about. This is a cold frame I built in one of my most recent videos. It was originally on the other side of the garden because it was only looking after the courgettes that are in the grow bag. But if you come down here, these courgettes were getting really cold at night and you can see on his leaf, he was really cold. And I didn't have any fleece yet. So I just moved the grow bag and the whole cold frame over here and I put fleece on the top as well and then behind the cold frame you can see my um, board beans which are shooting up which is really exciting and actually maybe we'll just put in like that very nice board beans cool um, again here don't know don't know don't know got my rhubarb it's coming back up it's doing all right yeah and then we come over into this corner this was some rainbow chard, which I pulled out of the raised bed. I threw into one of like the overgrowths. And then as we were clearing that this year, I found it and it was regrowing. So I planted it and it kind of looks like it's going to seed, which is exciting because I could try and harvest some seeds from it because no one actually likes eating rainbow chard in my house anyway. Next up, we have the potatoes in these four tubs. This tub, I didn't actually plant any potatoes, they're all potatoes from last year, which I split into these tubs. Last year I grew lots of salad leaves and they're my favourite thing to grow, so I've gone a bit pot crazy for salad leaves too. So in here we have some cos lettuce, here we have spinach, here we've had rocket, which I had to put up here because when it was on the floor, some kind of animal, could have been my dog, but I feel like it was a cat, kept digging at it. And here we have another mixture of cos and spinach. This little wheelbarrow is, not a wheelbarrow, what is it? This little watering can is uh, a strawberry plant. <laughs> a strawberry plant, we don't know where to put it. Uh, and then we get to the little mini greenhouse. Here we have these cos lettuce, which are ready to plant out, which I'm actually gonna plant out today. Um, I have some black seeded Simpson lettuce, some more rocket. These were some flower seeds that I got for free. When, yeah, they're just, up now which i got for free when i placed an order at a seed place this is a pepper plant my friend indy and her boyfriend ben they germinated some seeds from i think a supermarket pepper and they sent me the seedlings in the post which is very cute and this is the only one that's actually survived so i've just repotted him hopefully get some peppers who knows and just a little bit of spinach and I close this up every night and I have noticed that these have grown a lot quicker than the ones that I'd already planted out because they obviously still quite appreciate the heat at night. So in here I thought I would try for the first time to grow potatoes in a bag for life. I picked 
a garden themed one to try and make it a bit cuter. Um, he hasn't come up yet, but we'll see. Maybe that would be the fifth pot of potatoes. I feel like I've gone a bit overboard on potatoes, but anyway. Over here was my uh, herb garden. The rosemary got flowers on it. I don't know if that means has he died? Someone let me know. Mint's doing great. Parsley, this is its second year, and I heard it's supposed to go to seed in its second year, which looks like that's exactly what it's doing. Healthy. No, look, if you go down, see how this one is like shooting up more than the rest of it. So when a plant wants to sow its seeds, it will do something called bolting. Um, and when it bolts like this, this will come up, it will flower and it will kind of create the seeds which you can harvest. But it means the rest of it doesn't really taste that good anymore. So once something's bolted or gone to seed, you don't really want to eat it anymore. This is one lonely daffodil. That's not a daffodil. <laughs> this is one solitary dandelion in our garden. I don't know where it came from. It's very cute. I love it. This is a very tropical tree. So finally we get to the raised beds. So something else that's gone to seed down here is these chives. They've got these like, beautiful flowers. And I planted these here because I've done lines of carrots. Carrots like to be planted with chives because it keeps away the carrot fly. And then I have all my onions, they will come up, you can see. Then here we have the radish, which are literally ready to come out. So I'm actually gonna pick all these radish today. Can you eat it? I'm not gonna eat it, it needs to be cleaned, but I will eat it eventually. Raw vegan, come on. I'm not gonna eat it with mud on. I'm gonna pick all these radish out and put the lettuce that I just showed you. So this one, is that a mouse? I don't know, something's had a little nibble on that, but either way, that's gonna all be lettuce. We've already got some lettuce going on here. That's either Simpson, cross lettuce. Let's take out all these little weeds. Just want to push from the bottom and then kind of tip and gently, gently get your plant out. You can see these are really ready to be repotted. Look at those roots. And just whack them in. So I got a bit carried away and actually picked more of the radish than I planned to and replaced this whole, you can see this whole section is now lettuce. I've left some more radish there have to pick later. I don't know why I grow so much radish when it is quite boring to eat. <laughs> and yes, I don't live in a fully vegan house and I use their eggshells because it's better to use their eggshells than let it go to waste. And we just have a couple more pots along here with some strawberries. And that's the entire garden. The only other thing we also have is some stuff going on on the windowsill. So I'll just show you that quickly. Inside we have the tomato seedlings, which are doing really well. Look at this monster. They're gonna go in pots outside. Um, I have a backup courgette, which I'm actually gonna need because one of them has already been destroyed. And a bit of coriander for the herb garden. Oh, and that was me regrowing, regrowing a spring onion. And on the windowsill here, I tried to germinate some carnations, like petunias and plum tomatoes, but nothing's come up yet. Update, plum tomatoes have come up. Nothing for the flowers. I think I let them get too dry. Okay guys, that was my entire garden. Thank you so much for watching. and I'll see you next time.